this is the real world, right? I'm pretty sure. Yep, looks like we're back, all right. Oh, they put Morgana's face back to its regular thing. All right. You have successfully returned from the jail. Welcome back. Jail? Hang on, Sophia. Where'd she go? Is my prediction right, or am I just dumb? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty, get your ass over here! <laughs> oh. Don't yell that in public, idiot! Bro, Ryuji is too much. Was that Sophia's voice? <gasps> Where is she? I called it. I called it. I'm in front of you. In inside Joker's phone. The phone. Like I said, my phone is acting it's weird. Like floating head. Yo. <laughs> oh, she just popped up. That's so cool. Oh, did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep, I'm really me. But who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You're Mona? So I you believe really it. weren't a raccoon. I already told you that. Wait, why are you on his phone now? Why am I? Because I am an AI. I knew I called an it. An AI. Hey, uh, um, so it's obvious too. I thought. That's that smart thing, right? Utaba <laughs> told us all about it. She's an artificial intelligence. For real? Why didn't you tell us? So why are you in my phone? What is this? I have your phone to thank for that. I was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's scent, I ended up here. His scent? Who are you, Morgana? So since she's an AI. She turned into data when she came to this world. Does that mean you're living in his phone? <laughs> what does that mean? So then who created her? Does that like have any ties with how the metaverse came back? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Care to join me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the energy. Right now. Anyway, <laughs> it's a big relief knowing you made it out of there safely. Hey, but... What, what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still... you know... I don't know. But I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. Yeah, they're probably dead. Oh, who knows? I'm worried about them. Me too, but... If we charge in without a plan, we're just going to wind up captured too. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. Odds are that something horrible is happening right now. How would it? How does it come back though? You're right. Talking about this here is no good. Let's get to Leblanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I connected to the internet. And learned a great many things, but my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? Imagine the future, like in the regular world, we could create like a robot and put her in it, or we could create a hologram. That'd be cool. Or maybe that will happen. Her. Huh? Gotta make these predictions early, you know. Come on, let's just take it easy. Come see why I'm crashing. So we're both crashing somewhere. Also. Introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. Yeah, instead of saying over text, Hey guys, I got a new AI on my phone, you want me here? Uh, wonder how that's gonna go over. Especially when they hear all the palace type shit. Oh, there yeah. are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. One of them will probably flip her wig over you too. <laughs> okay. That sounds pretty fun. Oh yeah, Futaba would. She'd be super hyped over it. I see. You're saying you entered the metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. It's a pretty wacky story. When you put it that way, you make it sound crazy. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's the truth. You gotta believe us, we're just messing with you. <laughs> I should be a clown. Dude, shut up! You want to believe in us or not? We understand. None of us would make up something like this. However, 
There's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. I don't know why we just didn't do that from the very beginning. You know what I'm could saying? you come join us, Sophia? Have a whole prop? Yo, Phantom Thieves. Ha, <laughs> what's up? Giddy, giddy, giddy. Whoa, what is that? Oh, Futaba is, hmm, she is excited, yeah? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow, I can't believe this is happening. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of Phantom Thieves present. Yes, sir. <laughs> She's humming to herself? What in heaven? <laughs> Such an adorable design. I can feel the charm, the pain, the tenacity within. Oh, how descriptive, buddy. Wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, this is Sophia. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just way too advanced right we couldn't believe it either care to introduce uh you should tell yeah that. Uh, that's right we're meeting for the first time nice to meet you sophia i'm makoto nijima and by the way i'm loving makoto's new style not gonna lie my name's haru okumura we're both college students but i also help up with my family's company i'm on takamaki i'm a third year in high school and i do some modeling too my name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. Yes, that's our pervert right there, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, I'm next, huh? Of I'm Kitaba Sakura, and I kind of suck at socializing, but I want to be friends and stuff. <laughs> ah, you did great, Futaba. In fact, I bet you and Sophia will get along real awesome. Literally, I do it right off rip. Haru, An, Yusuke, and Futaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. Ooh, right. We skipped that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but... We call each other by code names in the metaverse, so our enemies won't discover our real identities. Yes, sir. Code names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto. The cat's Morgana, and he's... Okay, I'll remember that. Yes, sir. Um, Document so that down really Eric puts up. Computer program? Correct. Would you like to see my source code? Oh yes, yes, yes. Show me, show me. Take oh my it god. Down a notch, okay? You can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know, because my memory is gone. Could you That's have the, the AI question. version of amnesia or something? That seems difficult to recover from. I will make a prediction now. I am going to assume. I am going to assume Igor. Igor's behind this. Igor, our friendly, long nosed mentor, you could say pretty much ish, kind of like a mentor, is behind this. He's, he's missing, as we all know from the last episode, he's missing. So maybe before he went missing, he put out an AI that would help us in the metaverse to lead us to the truth of what, why uh, the metaverse is back. Man, gotta make these predictions early on. Uh, if your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I feel like it definitely was Igor. I remember nothing else. I like so, like sort of what, sort of how it was with Morgana. How Igor is Morgana's creation. Like I think. Sophia is also Igor's uh, creation, but just uh, like uh, what's going on? AI, you know. Uh, let's see. Don't worry about it. It's not biggie. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. 
I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I see all the, the all the clues Sophia, in the episode too. We have some real work to do first. Like how even Morgana is relating to it. So maybe it is the same situation, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Right. The metaverse. And what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. She was calling herself the queen, being all high and mighty, ordering shadows around. All that kind of shit. There's no doubt that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. What is it? Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? You mean they had access to the Metaverse Navigator? Oh no, not that. But huh. that disappeared for all of us. I know, Use right? Emma. That's where this comes in. You mean Emma? Yep. For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait! That means Emma is dangerous! But you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work like that. There's one more thing that's been bothering me. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So, could you guys check out the palace, or jail, or whatever with us? Good point. There's no progressing any further unless we see it with our own eyes. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think the sooner the better. Is it even safe for us to enter, though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well, are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Yes, sir, let's do it. I'd rather do it today, but you know. <laughs> Y'all are just lazy. Uh, sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Hell right. yeah. We've got our mission. Get everybody back in action. Uh, imagine how wacky that's gonna be. Well, I mean, uh, for the other per for the other personas, we were only allowed at the four. We had our, we had a four party limit. I'm pretty sure it was. I think it was four, four or five. I forgot. Very so well. Sure that's how it's gonna Look be. forward to seeing this jail. Let's say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first. I get to see Sophia's code. You promised, remember? Oh, this is gonna be the info dump of a lifetime. I promise. You won't feel a thing. <laughs> oh, Are you boy. confident this is wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. She has like 10 different monitors in her home. Man, this is what happens when we get back together. Oh, talk about an ass-busting summer vacation. Hey, man, that's what, that's what all the fun is about. We'll be fighting in the metaverse again. Think about that. Huh? Uh, what is it? Uh, what about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Uh, our barbecue extravaganza? <laughs> extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? He is so over-exaggerated. It looks like I love we'll him. just have to postpone it. And the metaverse. About to slice you to ribbons. Aha. You can't <laughs> slice the metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows. <laughs> Here we get back to reading. Ah. <coughs> Alright. Man, could today have been any more drama packed? We really ought to have Futaba poke around with Sophia once we have the time for it checking tutorials you can check tutorials you have been you have, oh my god you can check tutorials you have seen before and other related information by opening the command menu navigating to the system sub menu and select the tutorial yeah we saw that earlier. i should write something let me save let's see let's what was it it was in system right boop boop Ooh. infinity's weakness battle Oh. So we can go check. That's cool. Futaba, okay. Oh my god, keep pressing X. Hmm, I see. Hmm, I see. What? But how? 
I mean, with this over here. Damn. So that's it. What? Futaba's really getting a gun into analyzing so Sophia. What do you think, Futaba? How Sophia's code look? While well, her programmer is a genius, no doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. Well, alrighty. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Ooh, that's a serious that is... program. No. I don't no. understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? You're very yeah, impressive. You're impressive? You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. You've got this. Don't stay up too late, okay? I can walk you home. I'm good. It's just around the block. Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. She made... Like a tree? Oh my lord. Get the teacher our slang. We said goodnight to Futaba, then headed to bed ourselves. Boy, was that a hell of a day. I never would oh have God. imagined something like this would happen. I hear you there. All we could do is get ready. I just want to have fun. <laughs> I just want to have fun, please. I know, but we don't have a choice. We'll cut loose once things are settled. Yeah, well, yeah. the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery, says the talking cat. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? At the end of the day, they're just some motherboard that could be wiped anytime. You know what that I mean? That is inarguably true. Aw, oh, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... Uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them. I guess. The yeah, you tell Morgana. Heart. Look, just... Just don't worry about it. It's not like you're human, huh? But I'm not gonna lie, it was so cool seeing Morgana human in Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> he was fine. No homo boss. All you need to he do was is fine. join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay. That is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. Of course, let's do this together. Work that AI magic. Okay, I'll do that. And then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Alrighty, next day. We went back to our former hideout in Shibuya to go check out the jail together. Great. Everyone's here. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? Oh yeah, it brings back so many old memories. We've this done area. this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro! Bring it! 
<laughs> We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Huh. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Now let's do this thing. I can't wait to see the reaction when she comes in as like a... As a human form-ish, I guess. I can't wait to see everybody back in their... In their, uh... In their persona uniforms. Gangs are here. Well, <laughs> did we make it? Oh, your phantom thief attire. Yes, sir. Yeah, you too. Oh, I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Oh, yes, it do be all. No. Look, it's Beauty Thief. My name is Beauty Thief. Oh, my God. Let's not fool around here. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. We oh, can yeah. reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So, this is the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh yeah, we got freaking... we got jumped! Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? The hell was up with that? But, but we both did booty holes, so you know, it's alright. That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! <laughs> Yo! Ah, Let's get it! Holy crap, an actual AI in human form! Wow, you're so cute, Sophia! Such a fascinating form you've taken. Oh my lord. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. Oh, Pervy uh, Pervy Yusuke is back. <laughs> Almost says Sasuke. I've Yusuke. never seen an outfit like that! I try floofing it. What? Floofing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Oh, Lord. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Uh, no floofing. By the by, how does H work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Gain more power. What happened to the folks who got jumped can tell us something. Probably. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. I mean, the place is called a prison or jail, so we could find some cells somewhere. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Well, couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. 
I haven't heard a peep about that online. That is true. Maybe they like. I don't know. How so would that work? no one is actually disappearing from reality. I see. Shadows. They pull in their shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? Uh, I, I understand. No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. I understand. Uh, so pretty much... It was like the last game in, in Mementos. Pretty much. Except it's not, it's not bad people. It could be anyone pulled into this and have their desires pulled down and be taken control of. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. That doesn't make a W assumption. Are trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Like, well, how are we to act? I just said... This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No, that was just speculation. The way he shakes his head. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of is that jumbo football head. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Ooh. Right. We need to get the story straight. Oh before yeah, mental shutdowns. I forgot moves, or about we'll those. Just be doing damage. Let's look into Alice. Let's look at her victims. Let's look into catching some Z's. <laughs> Let's look at her. Uh, hmm. Let's look at Alice. Yeah, I'd like to Alice. Got it. Uh, but what are we gonna do? Invade her palace. Some uh -huh. random store opening probably only works once. Uh, yeah. Let's say we get into that once we're out of here. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, so we're oh, pfft. man! I thought we were gonna fight. Well, we've confirmed the presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. And then we go ahead and send her a calling card. Huh. I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh, uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. Oh. What? For real? What a cocky dink. Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah, way to go, Lady On. Perfect timing. But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. They all look at me. I think I was just volunteered. Oh, that's literally. That. We're counting on you. Give Alice shit when you meet her, so you can get some evidence out of her. I got it covered. How exactly? Oh, I can't. I cannot wait. <laughs> hey, Evil hand rub. You better not be thinking of trying anything funny. I'm the one who will suffer for it. Now I'll calm down. I'll calm down. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. Oh, okay, a voice crack there. Do not mind. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Let's go. Looks like everyone's out gathering against her already. Let's not fall behind. Talking and exam. Approach people and press O to speak to them or listen in on conversation to get information relating to the monarch. Intel can also be gathered from sources other than people. Local shops may sometimes have valuable information on the monarch as well. 
Begin investigation. Hey! Check out that guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he a house thing? Hmm? Come on, man. I need money, please. Again, I just, I just lent you money for all your Alice obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's a new Alice original coming out. I really, really need it. Like, I won't even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. That guy with the brown hair is the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, where are you suddenly obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious, though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe you. So he's borrowing from shady lenders only to get shady merchandise in return? That ain't normal. And then the other guy say he suddenly got obsessed? Could it be the influence of the members? Most likely. Alice, of course I've heard of her. Everyone in, the, in class has, especially the boys. They love her. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship all because he took a sudden interest in Alice. I know she's cute enough, but cute enough to leave somebody behind. Mm, that is some interesting info. Hmm? 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 <laughs> so Dragon, like Yakuza, is finally out. I can't just go by myself, though. Think about playing hockey. Huh? Eek! How long have you been there? It's nothing like that. The poster just caught my eyes off. Anyway, I heard quite a few employees of this theater uh, were let go all of a sudden. And the rumor is it's because they weren't fans of Alice. What's that about? No one gets fired for such an absurd reason without something going on behind the scenes. Hey, hey! Anything interesting playing up? Not that we have time watching a movie. Oh, dedicated woman. Alice, is this the interview or something? Sorry, but I hate her guts. Go ask someone else. Alice is the type of toys of people's lives. She only cares about fans lining her pockets. That's 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 two percent right there. Alice, you're so freaking adorable. No one can ever compare to you. I'll, I'll do anything for you. Buy your fancy jewelry. Take you out to the finest restaurants. I'd sign my life over to you if I could. Jesus Christ. This guy's completely lost it. It's like he can't even see us. I've heard of being crazy for someone, but this is way too far. Yeah, that is... Uh, you know, I mean... He's mumbling to himself. I heard some intriguing news. It seems there's a store on Central Street that carries clothing from Alice's brand. Perhaps we can get some information there. Uh... Hmm? Well, hell yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What? He's not hmm? here no more? Hmm? Damn, bruh. That guy was the hookup, man. How are we gonna get OP guns now? Man. Alice. Hiragi. Oh, do you mean the Alice clothing line? Why, yes. We do carry it. But I'm so sorry, we're all sold out. We only put them out 10 minutes ago, but the fans came in and swiped them all up. I'm so sorry that you missed it. Whoa, gone in 10 minutes? I guess it's possible that those fans uh, have some dedication to buy so fast. Let's be sure to remember this. Wow. It took me so long for no reason. How's the information search going? Why do we meet up and share what we've gathered what are you so gonna far? Do? Nope, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm searching for way too long. I need a sip of my water. So how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? <sighs> yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means, the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah. Like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. 
There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. Now that's what you call a simp. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. Male and female. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help! It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Yes, Would you like to investigate her next? Yes, please. Tomorrow is, is do or die time. Oh my god. Uh, tomorrow is do or die time. Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. I made my way back to Le Blanc. Well, next day immediately. Good shit. Gotta, gotta rush this. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fight so badly. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. You get it. Isn't that the... Isn't that the... The, um... The dude from... Hmm. Boss, this curry is oh, fantastic. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's the same dude. Thanks. I also saw this guy in the trailers. So, he's probably gonna be in a... Playing a porn role sooner or later. A certain TV studio. So this is going out live, huh? Oh, Dude, I'm starting studio. to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, oh, I'm chilling like a villain. The bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. Well, a pet? <laughs> Behave yourself in there. Quiet on set. Oh, well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? <laughs> yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. Just stay chilling on my phone. No prob. Ooh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! Jesus Christ. Oh, crap. Oh, she really is adorable. Cutting back from commercial. Back in five, four, three. And now. On to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Fashion world, really? Looking like that? Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? That says a lot. It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh the theme my God. of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. Oh boy. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. That is... That's just interesting choices there. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. That is crazy. Really? Huh. 
<laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating rumors? Uh, why did he say it like that? Uh, what? Uh oh, something was happening. Uh, 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 oh. oh, he's definitely been manipulated. What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? He's definitely been manipulated. I you can see her blushing. Wrong. You can see her blushing from here. Are you okay? Alice, I... Oh, no. I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. Oh, my God. What? My son got his hands and knees. Uh, hey. Sim what is behavior. all this? Huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Oh, my God. He wants to be stepped on. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it! I can't live without you! What, yeah. what in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Oh. Is this real? Damn. Those two are engaged already, right? Oh. Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. <laughs> Yo. No! I'm begging you, Alice, please! That's crazy. Just shut up already! Is this mess? My son has been manipulated. <laughs> mm. They canceled filming on the spine, escorted everyone off the set. Well, we figured out something. That. That was actually live on TV, right? Yes. I can't believe he spilled his beans like that. He spilled the beans, Even did. I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think. That host had his desire taken by Alice? Most definitely. I can't know for sure. He was just confessing to her. <laughs> well, Alice may be cute, but that was still way too bizarre of him. True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. True. Like he wasn't even there. Someone else was controlling Like, him. obviously. He got, he got on his hands and knees and begged on his life. <laughs> but you think me, you know? Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? So, like, did it happen in that moment? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. It's actually kind of, you know what we just brought... What we just brought to my attention? The fact that she is aware of this. And the fact that she's hosting it, so does she know of her power in the palace? Does she know of her shadow? If so, how? Or is that like literally her, but as a, that's her persona? Sort of a thing with Dr. Maruki situation in, in uh, Persona, Persona 5 Royal, where he, that was like his actual human self, but he is, was in control of his own persona. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. Eh, either way, we'll figure it out. We'll see. But we'll see. that soon. would mean. Alice really is guilty. She's very much people. She's taking people's desires. Alice yeah. really is guilty. Looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and... I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. Oh. <laughs> Man, that was great. That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, uh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I 
was the victim on stage. Mm -hmm, yeah, what right. What is it that you want me to stop doing? I, I don't know how you're doing it or why, but after seeing that, there has to be something. You. Oh, so you want me to punish you again? Whoa. Ah, please, I'm sorry. What the heck? Oh, oops. What a terrible accident. Just like what happened on set. A terrible accident. I'm still upset over it, too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Jeez. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. Oh, she's one of those. Like. Oh, she's one of those. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, guys. Oh, it? she's one of those. Hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out, hey, stop! And who is this? Cut the sadistic. Yeah, this is get straight to the point. It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around, weren't we? Yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Hey, wait! Hang on. Uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? Don't be manipulated. <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Oh, what's going on? Too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Aw, yeah. two in a row. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? Mm, we're catching done. along. Let's go. Just catching along. Oh, that's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? 